Hello and welcome back to the Valdova player career mode. In the last episode, we got thrashed by Atletico Madrid in the Champions League quarterfinal 6-1 in the first leg. And we ended up being knocked out 6-3 on aggregate. But we ended up finishing the season, missing out on the Serie A title for the first time as we finished in fourth. Due to our ACL injury, we did not get any individual awards. But now as the summer transfer window is open, there are rumours surrounding Valdova's future as he may look to leave AC Milan as the club seems to show a lack of ambition. We've had a long conversation with our agent as he has reached out to us to confirm our interest in leaving AC Milan this summer. The clubs our agent stated that are heavily interested in us was PSG, Leverkusen, Real Madrid, Manchester United and Liverpool. Now there are some big clubs in that list but we've already decided that we will be returning to England. Now that leaves us with two options, Manchester United or Liverpool. Our agent plans to reach out to them both to see the conditions of the deals ahead. Now after this conversation with our agent, information started to leak as Fabrizio Romano tweets about our exit from AC Milan. This has sparked massive excitement for both the Manchester United fans as well as the Liverpool fans with both begging their owners and managers to get us in as they feel 70 million for Valdova is a bargain. The AC Milan fans, however, do not share the same excitement as some blame the owners for their poor handling of the club and that they are the exact reason Valdova is set to leave. Now, as the transfer window ticks on, we have heard back from our agent in regards to the transfer situation with Liverpool and Manchester United. As our agent starts to explain that Manchester United currently employ Victor Oshim as their main striker and Ten Hag is reluctant to accommodate a system to fit two star strikers. So they cannot guarantee that we will be starting at every opportunity. But they did offer us 325k per week on a four year deal. Liverpool on the other hand are a little more discreet about their intentions but they would view us as a star striker and the crown jewel of the team that aims to get back into challenging and winning trophies. But it is stated that Jurgen Klopp will want to discuss this move before anything happens. And as we think our response through we have decided to schedule our meeting with Jurgen Klopp to hear what he has to say about his plans and about his vision for the season and seasons in the future. And now we have our meeting with Jurgen Klopp and discuss his outlines and intentions. He mentions that he believes that we will be a key figure in Liverpool's front three and is also impressed by the way we conducted ourselves and our attitude. Klopp confirmed that he has given the green light and it is now up for us to decide where we go once we find out the details around the option at Liverpool. Now a tweet from Fabrizio Romano about our meeting with Jurgen Klopp has started a surge of excitement for Liverpool fans as the window is close to shutting with only a week left, with the Liverpool fans urging this deal to get done as quickly as possible. We met with our agent and Liverpool have confirmed they offered us a five-year deal with an option to extend worth 250 k per week, which is a little less than the Manchester United deal, but they seem to want us a lot more than United did. So we have made the decision to go forward with a negotiation to become a Liverpool player. As you can see, we are officially a Liverpool player. We are confirmed to move to Liverpool from AC Milan for 77 million. We are going to be Liverpool's new number 10. It's safe to say the Liverpool fans are a little bit excited and as they should be, we are the best striker in the world. And as we give our farewell message to the AC Milan fans, we say our goodbyes and look ahead to our future at Liverpool. The AC Milan fans gave a lot of love to us in response to this message and we leave on good terms with the AC Milan faithful. Little bit of a quick side note here, because we moved uh, quite late in the window, the transfer window completely broke, so there's been no signings at all, so yep. But now we are kicking off our Liverpool career with a trip away to Chelsea. Chelsea currently sit in second with three wins from three as we sit all the way down in 16th with no wins in our opening three matches. We are coming off the bench with 27 minutes left to play as we are down to 10 men and the scores are locked at nil all. Can we make an instant impact? Chance for Chelsea here. Vitinha plays it across. It's a good keep in. Oh, who's our goalkeeper? I don't even know who we fucking have. I think it's Dean Henderson. God. Oh my God, what are you doing? That guy's got no fucking head. He's got no cranium. What the fuck? <laughs> He's headless. Oh, look at him. He's got a fucking cranium. What is going on? 
Oh my god, he nearly scored that. Jesus Christ, why is Frank Lampard the manager? What the fuck? Ah, oh, it's about over. Oh, he skips past you with ease. It's felt over. He's through. It's a chance for the new Liverpool number 10. That was so bad. We're not sharp. We're not sharp. We didn't have a pre-season. What the fuck was that? Beats him with ease. 45. No, the headless cut. I couldn't see him. I couldn't see him. Chance. Tammy Abraham. It's in. And we're down, obviously we're down to 10 men. It's going to be difficult. We should have scored. I mean, we could take some of the blame. We should have scored that chance. But Chelsea, take the lead. It's about over. Oh, skips past you, mate. It's about over. Driving, still driving. Finish! Oh, unlucky Luis Diaz. Chance, Chelsea cutting inside. Abraham to Hall. Oh my God, what a save. Holy shit, that's excellent. Here I am. Chance for Chelsea. Chance still. It's another big save. Lovely Diaz. over. Drifting around, Veld over. He's drifting still. It's Veld over. Played across. He just stops. He just stands still. Pass the ball. Oh my god. This game's ass. Okay, I don't know why the ref hasn't called full time yet. I mean, fuck me, it's the 93rd minute ref. Jesus Christ. It's full time. We lose on our debut. Unfortunate. It's not been a good start to Liverpool season. Let's hope we can pick it up. After a disappointing start to our Liverpool career, we now kick off our Champions League campaign with a trip away to Marseille. But before we get into it, our former teammate Paul Torres has sent us a good luck message as he now plays for Marseille. He wishes us good luck and may the best team win. And well, I'm more motivated than ever to score now. But now focusing back on the game, this is our group for the Champions League group stage. We are obviously joined by Marseille and Espanyol and Borussia Mönchengladbach. This isn't the easiest group to progress through. But now this is our Liverpool starting 11. This is our best team for this season. We have a few names that we all know. Tino Livramento is our starting right back with Onana, the Everton man, the former Everton man I should say, as our club captain. As well as our front three of Cody Gakpo, Valdova and Ben Doak. I don't know how to say that. Hopefully this front three can prove to be utterly disgusting. But this is our first start for Liverpool. Let's make it a memorable moment. To me Gakpo, lovely ball. Finish, fell over. Oh my god, what a save. I think that was Pau Torres. I sat on his ass. Oh my god. That's a brilliant serve. Gakabu. Let me have a top Gakbo. Lovely ball. Not over's through. Felt over. One and one. Felt over. Gets his first ever Liverpool goal. And it's away to Marseille. Liverpool take the lead within 20 minutes. The number 10 has arrived. I don't know why we're in number 10. I don't know. It's, it's weird, but it doesn't matter. Not over scores on his full start debut. Come on. Man. It's back to me, is it? Not over. Oh, I've him for pace. I've him for pace. Oh, my God. I'm going all the fucking way. No, I missed. Oh, my God. There was just too much space. I was so confused. I overfought it. Should have just passed it to someone. Chance Marseille coming forward. Is that... I oh, know it's silver with a chance. It's in. Oh, we've had our chances. We should have probably scored a hat trick, really. Fabio Silva scored. Marseille at level. Oh, what a ball. Viviano in behind. Silva plays it wide. There's a chance for Marseille. What a save from the number one. Beautiful stuff. And that's half time. One all. Honestly, should probably be about two or three all. Um. Yeah, it's, it's it's okay at the moment. It's okay. Go all the way. Go all the way. Oh, it's a good save. Swerved around the corner. Chance. Nice ball. Number six. It's Veld over. It's Veld over. What a save. Diaz finish. No, you just don't go to the ball. You're just jogging. Oh, what a save. Oh. That's our last input for the game as well. That would have been a magical moment. We're coming off. It's one all. 15 minutes left to play. Oh, we should have scored. And we drew two all. Uh, 
After scoring on our starting debut, we are back in league action as we play our first game in front of our home fans at Anfield as we host Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham have had a promising start to the season as they sit in fourth on nine points from their first four games. We currently sit all the way down in 17th as we are yet to win a game. But as we are close to kick off, Tottenham still have a certain individual starting for them. And would you believe it, it is Lionel Messi. Messi is still at Tottenham and he must be around 46 years old. This man refuses to retire. But now focusing back onto this match, we need to kick off our season and we need a win here tonight. Messi, what do you think you're doing, mate? You can't stop the Valdova train. You can't fucking stop it. What a save. Hello, what a save, Edison. Messi trying to bloody force me off the ball. Piss off. Oh, chance. I don't know how to say that guy's name. Good save. Messi creating at the age of 47 or whatever the fuck he is. It's half time. Fucking hell. It's just a passing simulator. Spurs play five at the back. You just can't fucking get through them. And then they have no people up front. Oh, man. It's been a boring half. Nice. Can you play me line? Nice ball, 17. Valdova finally in behind. Valdova! Finally! His first goal in Anfield. Finally, these fucking cunts have been broken down. Valdova puts it in. Liverpool lead. Fuck off, Tottenham. God! Park, park the bus more. Park the bus fucking more. Oh my god, these cunts are annoying to play against. Jesus, what a finish. Sit down, Edison, you bitch. Come on. Oh my god. No! What a save. This is awful as fuck. Oh, finish that. Go on, 19. Bang! It's in, it's two. Come on. Tottenham gets sucking up. Oh, nah, nah. What's my name? Come on. Two new. I just, they just refuse to pass to me, which is probably a good thing. I would have fucked it up. Come on, two new. Oh, my God. Sanchez fucking mugged me, bud. Long distance shot. Good save. It's about their first shot of the fucking game. Why did you pass to me? It's fine. Play me back. Yes, what well on. Not over. Coming inside. Not over still. Not over. Whoa. Oh, nah. Nah, that's that's a weird shot. Two of time. Nice play. Not over. Fucking hell. I'm getting fouled, man. Where's my fouls? Come on. Full time 2 0. Three points. Clean sheet. First win of the season. First win at Anfield. Come on. That's bloody better. After picking up our first win of the season, the Liverpool fans were extremely happy with Valdova getting his first goal at Anfield. Hopefully we can continue to make the Liverpool fans this excited for the remainder of the season. But now we are hosting Aston Villa in the Carabao Cup. We are coming off the bench with 11 minutes left to play with the scores locked at nil all. Villa coming forward, we're a bit stretched here. We're a bit fucking... Where are our fucking players? We are so lucky, Shop. Well, hello, we got about 2v5 there. What the fuck? Oh my god, what a save. Oh, boys, 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 boys. Uh, come on, let's defend. Let's actually attempt to defend. Fuck me. Oh, one Valdo over. Lovely Valdo. Look at that turn. Play Gakpo. Go, Gakpo. You're through. You're through, Gakpo. Go, lad. You're through. It's Cody Gakpo. What a save. Gakpo, lovely ball. Valdo over. Lays it off. It's surely a goal. What the fuck? Someone go to the... Someone. Someone go to the ball and is sitting there open goal. No one's decided. Hey, I'm just going to run to this and shoot. You are taking the piss. No, you give it away. No fucking way is this happening. We should have been winning. Chance. Oh, what a save, keeper. What is happening tonight? Like, what to you? Yes, Gakpo. Vout over. What a save. I should have slotted it near. I should have just slotted it near. What a save. But over picks it up. But over. Oh, it's another great save. Who is this guy? Oh, it's going to be. Oh, it's penalties, right? Fuck. How did. Oh, we should have won that. We should have won that. But over. Slots at home. Thank you for coming. I think we're 100% perfect from penalties, which is surprising. Can, can, I'm not moving you, mate. Come on. Come on, keeper. At least fucking dive. At least try. Come on. Cody Gakpo. Gakpo, it's two. Come on. Ferreira. Ah. Lang. Number seven. You're a skinny bastard, mate. Oh, fuck off. Ramsey. 
Yes, keeper! Come on! Musa! Oh, fuck you. Hit it properly. Another Ramsey? There's two of the cunts? Oh, we're gonna be out. We're gonna be out. Oh, keeper. Chang. Chang, it's in. It's up to you, Liverpool keeper. The number one. Can you keep us in the Carabao One Cup? Fucking dive! Useless cunt! Fucking dive for it! You always go right. Hey, why does he not know? You always go right in a penalty shootout. Fuck off. Oh my, how are we out, man? How do we not score? After being knocked out of the Carabao Cup on penalties, we now travel away to Manchester City. Manchester City have not had a good start to the season as they sit in 11th place with only one win. We also only have one win so far as we sit in 15th. Can we bounce back from our Carabao Cup defeat with a win away at Manchester City? Kind of ruined the attack, man. Go on, over. Go on, finish that! No! It's still alive. Why did you try and hear that on target? Oh, it's gone out. Nice. Not over. Oh, what a save. I should have gone far there. No, it's Haaland. Still Haaland. Johnson to Haaland. Yeah, turn. Uh, we go from one end nearly scoring to the next conceding. And we're down at the Etihad. And who scored? Who the fuck? I don't even know who that is. To be fair, there's a lot of... Oh, it's Tielemans. There's so many players now that it's just a mess. It's like 12 years in the future. It's all over the place. Referee, it's a red. That is actually a fucking red card. These refs are so ass. Jesus Christ. Gecko, can you find me? You can. Vout over. Beats him on the inside. It's still vout over. Still vout over. Still vout over. Oh, that's what he does. Harland, mate. Are you watching? I'm fucking back in the prem. No, fuck off. We're back in the prem. We beat you to the fucking golden boots. Two season rat leads. We're coming for it again. What a finish. What a goal. And that's what 77 million gets you. An absolute fucking goat up front. Sit down, Man City. What a strike. Oh, Haaland's through here. Chance for Haaland. Great save. You're not done over, you wanker. Come on. Half time, one all. Not a bad half. Really, both teams have had good chances. We're competitive. We're competitive early doors in our career at Liverpool. Oh, for fucks, this game is just AIDS. Really? Really? We're doing this? Brilliant. Can't wait to play now. Excellent. Isn't it? Nice, number nine. That over sits you on your ass, mate. It's about over. Referee, that's got to be a red card. I'm one on one. How, like, how is it not a red? You better score this, Gakpo. I can't even see the ball. You better fucking score this. It should be a red card. Come on! Fuck off, City! Fuck off, your wankers! How is that not a red? It's mind-blowing stuff. I'm literally one-on-one. -on -one. Doesn't matter. Gakpo puts it in. We take the lead at the Etihad. Come on, lads. Now it's for City. Foden's in behind. Keeper, we need you. It's in. It's as easy as that. One pass and it's in. They should be down to 10 men. I can bind the refs as usual. Nice man over. Come on. No. No. Shoot. No. What is going on? I'm offside apparently. Oh, come on, number nine. You've got to finish that. No. Left back. Where the fuck are you going, Zin Swidiot? Where are you going, left back? You're going to fucking Narnia, mate. Oh, fuck off. This is bullshit. Oh, my God. We should not be losing this game. Nice ball, Gekko. Not over! Straight at him. Oh. Not over. Driving. Musa. What are you doing? I don't know. Oh, we're in! We've scored! I couldn't fucking tell you what happened. Because I fucking see. But Liverpool put it in. It's indeedy. It's for you all. What a game at the Etihad. Come on, boys. Back level. It's full time. Three all. A great spectacle for the neutral. But we should have won that. Should They should have had a red card. We should have scored some of our chances. But overall, Liverpool aren't playing too bad. They're not playing too bad. After the six-goal thriller, Jurgen Klopp has messaged us saying that we are going to be rested for this upcoming match against Espanyol as we are in need of a rest. We ended up losing 3-2, which means we've not had a good start to the Champions League campaign. Now, this is the September Player of the Month award shortlist. 
We have not been nominated, but the nominees are Aiden and Martinelli of Arsenal, Havertz of Chelsea, and Mbomo of the Mighty Saints. I don't think that's how you say his name. We will see who wins it after our next match as we host Arsenal. Arsenal currently lead the league with a perfect record recording six wins in six games. We currently sit in 14th only on five points after six games. Can we stop Arsenal's perfect start to the season? Right over. Oh my god, we just got a screamer. No, Gekpo. Oh my god, you just got a screamer. Go Gekpo, lad. Go Gekpo, yes. No, you went past me. You should have gone to me. No, Gekpo. Chance. No, wow, was he doing what? How did he get a hand to that? That was a tap in. How the fuck did he get a hand to that? Nice. Nice. Can you play me over top? Oh, yes, that works. Not over through. Not over. You can't save that one. The team that's conceded one goal so far this season have now conceded two. And it's thanks to the Romanian. Veldova scores. Come on. And Anfield erupts. Arsenal, you're not winning today. I'm confident. I'm feeling good. Come on. Oh, Arsenal with the chance. It's Arsenal with the chance. How have you let that in? It's near post number one. And it all comes from our player. Just, I don't know. He just fucking went, oh, there's options over there. Fuck it. I'll go this way and kick it to no one. Lovely ball, 17. Right over against his former teammate, Militao. Keeps going. Right over. Oh, fuck. Where's my options? Why did you turn backwards? You are fucking stupid. Oh, my God. Give me some fucking support, teammate. It's halftime 1-0. Uh, the Prem is interesting. I mean, we've played four of the top six. Well, the, you know, the traditional top six already. And it's just, it's just like, it's so tight. You know, it's like such a tight affair every time. <laughs> oh, I'm such a fucking idiot. Chance. Arsenal. Big chance. Because the centre back's gone walkabouts. He's going to sweaty Edison. Oh, the centre back just goes in a way, runs away. Arsenal take the lead. And their perfect start to the season makes it into Is that fucking Jude Bellingham? Arsenal is such a ridiculously good team. Everyone else is sort of like most most teams are pretty dodgy with their teams. This team looks disgusting. Nice foot over. Nice foot over. Lovely run. Please, just someone get there. Finish left back. I blocked it. Oh, I blocked that, didn't I? Oh, fuck off, man. Seriously. Nice ball. Play him. Play me. Oh, it's a bit short of a pass. Not over with the chance. He sees it back post. It's in. Come on. Is it Onana again? I think it is. Come on. He scored against City. He scores against fucking Arsenal. And Liverpool never give up or something. What is their thing? Like, ne they just never give up or, or something like that? I don't know. Something like that. But, yeah, that's that. Come on. I'm just telling you to run straight and you're going to the dream. What the fuck? What the fuck? Last second. Why were you so open at the back? It's Martinelli. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Why? What? No one. The 93rd minute and there's no one defending. Oh my. Could, I'm not moving you. Bro, what is this? What is this? 1v4. There's four people around him. That's it, like, this, this game, so the centre back just runs forward. Yeah, classic. Oh, my, how have we lost this? And that's full time we lose. Oh, that's just dumb. That's actually just fucking stupid. I don't know how we lost that. After a late loss to Arsenal, Martinelli of Arsenal has been announced as a September Player of the Month with three games played, two goals, and one assist. But now we are back in league action as we travel away to Watford. Watford currently sit one place above us in 15th and lead us by one point. We are looking for only our second win of the season. We need to pick up some form quickly. Oh, that's to me. I'll just take it on. I'll just take it all on. That over. Gekpo. Peel off, peel off. That's fine. Backstick. I see you. Come on, number nine. The perfect counter. And Liverpool lead away at Vicarage Road. Come on. What is that? I've got to learn his name. He's, he's a front page. He's like that dope guy. Youngster in real life. Joke. All right. Got to remember his name. We're going to be forming a partnership here. Given away. Gekpo. Oh, my God. That over. Oh, that over. 
Ah! 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 It's in! It's two! I have no idea. I was, I was so confused. I thought it was going in. I thought I was going to run it out. It doesn't matter. It's two now. It's a solo goal from your boy. And Liverpool are cooking. Valdova is cooking. Come on. How did this actually go in? I thought that was going in. Oh, okay. So we, we just took a touch from the post. We'll take that. Not over again. No. Oh, I nearly spilt it again. One. Fall back. Get there. Tino. What are you, Tino? What are you doing? What are you actually doing? Chance for Watford. Chance for Watford still. And it's in because of an individual fucking error. Like, Tino, go to the ball, brother. Oh, my God. So stupid. Half time, we're up 2 1. Their late goal in the first half from Watford. Doesn't make me feel good about the second. But we are playing well. I'm liking it so far. Different system, different players. Back in a different country. Well, back, yeah, I guess back in a country I haven't played in for about eight, eight years, nine years. It's nice. Nice change. Take him on the outside. Take him on the outside. Belt over. Beautiful. Where's my fucking options, by the way? Come on, guys. Where's the 45? Nice. Nice. Not over. Not over. Oh, it's a beautiful goal. And Valdova scores again. I'm white as fuck because the sunlight's come out, okay? I'm not this pale, I swear, because there's too much lighting. Come on. Is that our hat trick? No, we got an assist for this guy. We're on a brace. We have an, we have an assist as well. And Valdova's cooking at Liverpool. And that's our game done. We've got a massive game in the Champions League midweek, obviously, after that loss. We've drawn the first one as well. We're struggling the Champions League, but it's a great performance. And that's what 70 mil gets you, boys. Quality performance. We ended up winning 4-1. Oh, it gets a goal. Lovely. After a cruisy win over Watford, we now travel to Germany to take on Borussia Mönchengladbach. This is how the table looks after the opening two games as we sit in third on one point. A loss tonight could put us in a very sticky situation. We need to get some points on the board. Ekmo, play me over. Lovely. Not over. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. Not over. No way it's that bad. Ah. We mugged them off as well. That finish was shit. To be a finishing's not the best at the moment. Especially on that left going across goal. It's sort of ass. Just win the ball. Just win the ball. Jesus Christ, lads. Oh, what a pass. Oh, they've missed. Oh, I was ready to complain. Come on. What the fuck was that? No, this is that was not the time to, to try and pass out. Just clear the fucking ball, boys. Win that. No way. Yes, just clear it. Whoa. You, my friend, have way too much confidence. Win that. Step in. Well done. No. I had a chance at a one-on-one. -on -one. Half time nil all. Lucky. We've been lucky not to be down. Really lucky not to be down. We've not been the greatest. Borussia coming forward. Oh, we're open. It's a chance. Can you get the number two? That was good defending. And you let him turn. And the control. I'm literally. All I'm doing with the control is going like that. And it just disconnects. Fucking hell. That shit's disconnected so much today. Far out, man. The number two does well to block, like, the sort of path to goal. And then just lets him beat him. Oh, man. Come on. Doesn't take that touch for some reason. Oh, they fucked it. Nice. Play me. Play me. I'm offside. Referee penalty. I'm not offside. I actually can't believe that. I thought I was way off. It's a penalty. Holy shit. What the fuck? How am I onside here? Oh, I am onside. I didn't even I didn't even know that number six was there. I didn't even know he was there. Yeah, he's keeping me onside. I didn't even know he was there. Come on. And it's about over with the penalty. But over. Oh, fuck off. Chance. Chance. Oh, my God. You have got to be kidding me. That we've just conceded that. You are fucking joking. Oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy of my soul. I don't want to be here no more. Bro, how is this got? How? This is the dumbest shit I've seen. This is the dumbest shit so far this episode. Like, come on. 
Seriously? You just fucking kissing in the middle of the game? Fuck me. Yeah, just kick it to no one, mate. Really, just kick it to fucking no one. Real helpful. And we lose. It's not looking good for Champions League qualification. Not at all. Holy shit. One point from our first three. After a bad loss to Borussia Mönchengladbach in the Champions League, the Liverpool faithful are quite clearly upset. I don't blame them as we sit potentially one more loss away from being knocked out in the group stage. But the Champions League is something to think about later as we are back in league action as we host Burnley at Anfield. Burnley currently sitting in 11th place, 3 points ahead of us. Can we record back-to-back -back league wins for the first time this season? One, well played. That over skips inside you. I can't skip inside that. Lovely ball. Gekpo! It's in! It's beautiful football! And Liverpool take the lead early. It's Cody Gakpo. And to be fair, in the league, we've been pretty good. I'm actually really impressed with the league form. Um, considering we've played a lot of good teams as well. We've been very good. And in the times we've played against Burnley right now and against Watford, I feel like we've been completely dominant. Uh, but the Champions League. I mean, I want to win the Champions League. Win that 17. Fucking hell! You've tried to kill the man! Fucking hell. I mean, if this isn't a red card, I don't know. I don't know what is. If this is not a red card, what the fuck is this? How is this? Holy shit. How is this not a red card? Brunt, you have actually tried to murder the guy. Look at that shit. Oh my god. It's like we're on the cock as well. He's not having children. Oh, it actually is. It's right on the cock. Oh, I feel bad for him now. He's not having kids. His wife's furious. Oh, my Lord. They're going to sue him for that. Gekpo, lovely ball. Vout over. Away on the left-hand side. Vout over for Liverpool. It's a counter-attack. I assist Gekpo. Gekpo assists me. It's 2-0. And Liverpool are cruising. We should be down to 10 mil, to be fair. Liverpool, as people say. Liverpool. I'll take it. Half time, we lead 2 0. Gakpo and Valdova getting the goals. And it looks like it's another cruisy performance in the league. In, in the league, like against Watford. It's the same sort of feeling. Nice number eight. Valdova just drifting past players. Just drifting past them like they're not even there. What the? I've told you to pass! I've told you to pass! This game doesn't work, mate. Maybe it's the controller. Maybe it's the controller. I told him to pass, and then obviously because I told him to pass, I'm like, oh, I want the guy to shoot. And he shot instead. And then he stopped shooting halfway through. Oh, brother. Oh, Tino. Tino's just asleep, like, every time. And it's in. Fuck's sake, Tino. This guy, he's just asleep. Former Saints, man. Clearly his defending abilities continued over to here. Fucking hell. It's just always the fullbacks in this game um, that are just like, they just let their runners inside and don't bother. And he's going to be through because you guys just can't fucking defend. Oh, the AI. The AI is just shit. The AI is just shit. It's really that simple. It's nothing to do with who's actually in defense. The AI is just fucking just so dumb. They never man mark fucking anyone. Oh, but fuck off. This guy, that's just, again... All that is is just the AI can't defend for shit. That's all it is. Oh, man. Doesn't matter what team you play with. They're just brain dead. I don't know how we haven't won that. After bottling a two-goal lead at home to Burnley, this is how the table currently stands. We sit in 13th on nine points from our opening nine games of only two wins. The top of the table looks like this with Arsenal having the perfect start to the season with nine wins from nine games. We are quite a little way off a title race for this season. We currently sit 4th in the top scorer charts with 6 goals in 6 games. And we also sit in 13th for top assists with 3 assists in 6 games. And our total tally for this season thus far is 7 goals and 3 assists in 9 matches, which isn't too bad of a start. But that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>